three tips to prepare you for an earthquake are <clears throat> you want to secure heavy items. So for example, my shelves back here, you can see I can lift them right up. They're not very secure. I guess they are because they have heavy stuff on them and I can't lift them. But in an earthquake, I can see how they could collapse. This one might be a better example. See, it just lifts up. Anyway, but for bookcases and stuff, those should be okay. A lot of, I don't think I'll be in this room in an earthquake, but you never know. But anyway, if you have a heavy, uh, tall bookcase, you're going to want to uh, secure that to the wall with like screws or something. Just um, so that it doesn't come tumbling down on top of you in an earthquake. Tip number two, you want to have plenty of of water on hand, drinking water, and then also like food that, non-perishable foods. So granola bars, <clears throat> canned food, I want to say pudding, like the stuff that comes in the packs, not the pack, like the pre-made ones, and I'm drawing a blank on what types of foods there are like that, but you want to have those on hand in case you're out of um, power or out of food or drinking water for a while. And then that, <clears throat> that leads me to tip number three for an earthquake. And you want to take this time now to make a plan. How are you guys going to communicate? What if the cell phone towers go down? Do you have walkie talkies? Do you need batteries for those? Do you have like some kind of signal? Do you hope that the cell phones still work and I can, can reach someone out of town? Do you have an emergency contact out of state that you can keep in touch with? And what is your plan? Just make a plan and know it and communicate it with each other. It's very important for if something does happen so you can connect and make sure that everyone um, is safe and if anyone needs help you know what to do. And then most importantly after the earthquake is over there can be aftershocks and everything and with things falling on you as soon as it's safe to do so go outside because if there are aftershocks, you don't want buildings to collapse on you during those aftershocks. But if you're outside, away from buildings and other things, as far away as you can be, uh, not around trees, that's the safest place that you can be. Anyway, thank you for watching. And next up um, will be my tips on preparing for a flood. Okay.